Hey, uh, welcome to Yellow Live session three. We do not have an audience today, so we will not have a Q&A. We're just going to get right into the lesson. Um, and do, uh, today's lesson is called Automating Your Marketing with Helo. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an email template using our email template builder. And then I'm going to show you how to create a three message campaign. So email templates are really cool because they're HTML. You can insert images really easily. You'll see we have a cool drag and drop builder. Um, so they're easy to use. They're easy to create pretty quickly on the go. And you can use them over and over and over again. And they look really great when they're in, um, when someone opens them, they look very professional. Um, and campaigns, campaigns can be used in a lot of different ways. Uh, they can be used to keep your prospects warm. So where you are, uh, let me explain what they are. So um, it is, a, it is a series of emails that you can schedule to go out on a timed basis. Um, it'll be much clearer when we make one later on. Um, it'll, everything will become much, much clearer when you, when you see how it's done. Um, but the idea is that you can, you've heard of drip campaigns, dripping information on people. This is so you can actually schedule it, so you can set it and forget it and just set your follow-up so you can remember that if you set somebody up on a 10 day campaign, you can remind yourself in 11 days to follow up with them. So that way you don't have to remember to send them each of these emails to remember in three days, send them this one, you can actually schedule it. You just select the campaign that you want to send them and have them be a part of. All of those emails will go out on the schedule that you provide and then you follow up when they're done. So it's a very easy way and effective way to get information to people and to not overwhelm them in the beginning. So it can be used to keep your prospects warm. It can be used to keep your, your current clients engaged. Um, it's a very good way to sort of welcome people. So you can send someone a thank you email for buying product from you and then follow up with some other products that they might be interested in. Maybe you want to send some information on the business to them, on what you do. And maybe after maybe say 10 days or something, you might want to follow up with a, hey, how's it going? Uh, just checking in, see how you like your products. That way you don't have to remember to do that or suddenly life happens and you forgot to follow up with somebody and that's unfortunate. Um, if you plan on doing campaigns where you're going to kind of, you can drip content on people so you can establish yourself as the valuable resource in whatever it is your brand world is. Um, and it's also another really cool way to train your team. Rather than sending them so much information in the beginning, you can actually drip information on them where they're getting emails from you on a schedule that you provide um, and you're giving them actionable items to take care of, actionable tasks to do each day. Whether you're sending them emails every day or every two days, that's completely up to you. It's totally customizable. So that's what makes it so great. It's really flexible. Um, campaigns can consist of a lot of things. There's lots of content that you can provide. It can be instructions. It can be tips. Um, if you write articles or you want to share articles, you have some articles that you've dug up and you think that they're really your your audience would get benefit from them. That's something that you can share. And then you can also slip in a deal occasionally. Generally, um, when we talk about campaigns, they're not to be a hard sell on your products most of the time, unless they're people who've already bought from you and you're just giving them more information about new products that you have launching and stuff like that. Um, it's more about you being a valuable resource to your audience. So if you have um, a health and wellness product, maybe you want to do a fitness sort of themed campaign where you're sending them information on how to stay fit, recipes that might be good for them. Maybe it's like a great smoothie recipe that you have. Um, if you sell more of a beauty product, you might provide beauty tips, makeup application tips, um, different things that you dig up, videos on how to do certain things um, associated with your product. Or maybe you want to come up with more of an overall theme, more of like a wellness theme, a health and wellness theme, like looking good and feeling good, looking young and feeling young, um, uh, creating the life you want. Maybe you have more of an inspirational bend and you provide that kind of information to your group. It's completely up to you. Um, 
So we're going to get down to it. We're going to build a template and, um, and that'll be a very quick lesson. Uh, there's a full template on how to build templates, um, a, a full tutorial on how to build templates on our YouTube page. So please check that out. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube page, I suggest that you do because um, it's, really, uh, it's a really fantastic tool and you'll be notified whenever we add new videos and we add them all the time. Um, and then we're going to create the campaign. So let's get started. I'm going to share my screen with you now. Here we go. So we're going to get started. We have our new header bar with these new three sections. What we're going to be doing today, everything is going to be in this team and marketing section. So we're going to click up here and we're going to go to email templates. And I have two that are made already. We're going to create a campaign based on, it's kind of a welcome campaign. And I'm not going to get, the content is going to be very Hilo based because I don't want people getting distracted with that. We're just showing you what the concepts are behind this and how to, and how to make them happen in Hilo, not necessarily what you should be writing. So we're going to do a welcome email. We're going to send them a welcome email. We're going to send them a blog post that I think is an article that they might find useful. And now we're going to make a, um, a checking in template. So this is the template that says, hey, just wanted to see how things were going. Um, just want to see how things were going. Um, and, you know, do they have any feedback for me? So what we'll do is we'll go, how's it going? We'll call this custom template. We're going to make this shared. This is where you decide whether your template is going to be personal for you to use or you're going to share it with your team, the downline members who have connected with you through Hilo. Um, and then we have two editors here. We have a WYSIWYG editor, <laughs> um, which is basic text. So it's a text box. It's very simple to use. This is really like, this is the one, um, it's a little less confusing. It's a little less daunting to look at. Um, you can insert images with this, you can change the style, so it's pretty flexible. Um, but we're going to use, in this tutorial, we're going to use the email builder. So we're going to click on this and open up a new email builder template. And here we go. So this over here on the right is our email. So whatever we put in here is the email that we're building. And over here are all of the building blocks that we can assemble it with. So and these are very easy. You can click and drag them over into your template. Uh, and then you can get rid of them if you don't like them. I, I gen, generally use a lot of the same ones. I like images in my templates. I think they make them a little more interesting looking. Um, and then I'm going to use this one. I use this for my signature. I like to put a photo in my signature. I'm sure you've gotten my email, so you're used to seeing my photo in there. Um, and I can click and drag, or there's this add button. If I click that, that's just going to throw that right at the bottom of my email, and that's where I want it, so it's perfect. Um, and you can always change the orientation if you want to flip the, if you want to flip this image over to the other side, you click this little button and it does that, but I like it on the left. And then this also, you can drag up or down to move it within the template. So very simple. And if you wanted to get rid of it, just hit this little trash can here and it'll delete it. It'll delete this whole section. So we want to enter some, we want, we have two images for this file. So we're going to click up here on this little image icon. And now we have recents, which for some reason the, these aren't showing here, but if I click gallery, it'll show the most recent photos that I had, the things that I've uploaded and used in the past. Um, I'm gonna use this little guy right down here. This is, how are you doing, it says. How are we doing? Um, if I wanted an image that I don't have in this gallery, I would just click here and it would pull up the my computer um, files and I could find a, another image that I wanted to use, but I have the two that I want. So I'm going to just close that out. Um, and now here's my photo and I'm going to just drag that right in there. Really simple. If I wanted to get rid of the photo, I could delete it, um, but I'm going to put that back in. So now we're, we're kind of set here. So now it's, it's already coming together and that was really fast, wasn't it? So I'm going to close out of this image area because now I want to start playing with the content. Um, I'm going to, so for the content area, um, up here, I don't really need this title, um, because I'm going to, I'm going to structure this like a, like a note to my prospect. So I'm just going to get rid of the title here. And you see these little toggle buttons, the button can go away and the button can reappear. 
So I'm going to get rid of that button too, because this is going to be the body of my email. I'll leave the button down here in my sub in my signature area. So just for now, we're going to, I have some sample text here that I've already prepared. So you don't have to watch me type all of this in because that would be no fun. We're gonna paste that in. So there's the body of my email. So if you've already got an email that you're using, you can very easily just copy and paste it right into here. Um, another thing to know, if you hold down the shift key, this will default to double spacing. Um, if you hold down the shift key and hit enter, you'll get a single space. So that's just something I like to tell people so that they don't have just this giant email um, with huge spaces in it. So now we're gonna do my signature and we're gonna say, that's my name. And then I also have my signature in here as well. So I can take that. I'll paste that in there. Makes it much faster when you have it when you're copying and pasting, but you understand the idea. So this is the, this is an email that I would send probably, this is gonna be like the third email that I'll be sending to people. Um, and in this, in this, I also said that I would be uh, providing my online um, calendar link. So I have a link to that. I would put, I would put the link uh, I would find that Sorry, I screwed up. I thought that I had that someplace. So instead, what I would do is I'll just put the link to my website here. So that's what, by putting that here, the link to the button, by clicking this button in the email, they'll be able to go straight to my website. They won't have to copy and paste the website anywhere. And then we'll say, I can change the text on this button to say, visit Hilo. Okay, now if I wanna match the colors or make this button a different color, so now we've, we've kind of tackled, all the content is in, now we just wanna maybe make it look a little bit different. We're gonna say style. Now we have the different style areas, so the title, which is my name. If we wanna change it maybe to match kind of what we've got going on in our photo up here. Maybe we wanna make it like a navy and we'll do the button the same color. Navy button, and we're gonna make the text white so it shows up. You know, maybe I wanna bold that too, just to make it look a little bit more substantial. So now I'm gonna click the save button right up here, because now we've created this template, and this template can be, I can come back into this and change the text around if I want. Um, I can change anything that I have in here. All of this stuff, I can change out my images. Um, I just wanna show this to you quickly. Again, on our YouTube page, we have a much more detailed tutorial on how to do this and how to use the replacement tags to put the contact's first name in and all of that fun stuff. Um, but I wanted to give you a quick overview of how this, this works. So I have my image, I have my email all set. I wanna save it. And now we're gonna build our campaign, which is really what this video is about. We're going to structure this campaign. So this is our welcome campaign. So now I've created the first three emails that I want to send out in this campaign. So we're gonna build that. So now we're on our campaign page and we have email campaigns up here and I wanna create a new one. Let's get this out of my way. I'm gonna click this green button and now I'm gonna give the campaign a title. So I'm gonna call this welcome. And I'm gonna say this is personal. I'm gonna have this just for myself. If I wanted to share this with my team, I absolutely could. I would just click shared and it would be theirs. So now we click submit. And that'll show up now in the list of campaigns that we have available in email campaigns. If I click this, now we're gonna see what's within the campaign. What have I actually added to it? And right now, nothing, because I just created it. So. If we click on add new message, this will be the first message in my campaign, which I want to be um, my welcome email. So I'm gonna call this welcome, so the welcome email, and the subject will be, 
Welcome to the program. Now I want this to go up. This is where I'm choosing the day field. This is where I'm choosing which, um, which day do I want this email to go out on. So the way that this works is when I assign someone to a campaign, day one, will be the day that they the day after I assign it to them they will get an email if it's a day one email so if I suggest so if I put in here day zero they'll get it that day but then you have to watch the times so you have to make sure if I put day zero and then 8 a.m. that and it's past 8 a.m. by now um, they won't get that email so be careful with that I choose to I really like to start them at day one so by day one, that means that the day I assign it to them, the next day they will get this email from me. And I want this, I like them to go out pretty early because I'm on the West Coast. So I'm gonna say I want this to go out at 7 a.m. And the template I'm gonna choose is the welcome template, which I've already created. That's not the one that we just did. I had that all set up for this. I don't need to put anything else in this because the template that I created has all of the information that I need in it. I'm just gonna save this down because this is all that I have to do. I'm just saying I'm giving it a title, which is not what the, the recipient will see. This is just for me to know which message this is. The subject is the subject that they will have in their email subject when they get the email. And this is day one. It's gonna go out on the first day the campaign is run. So now we click save. So now we have one email in our campaign. Now we're gonna add a second one because I said this is gonna be a three email campaign. So now, so day one, so today is Monday. So if I assigned this campaign today, tomorrow they would get the welcome email. And now we're gonna set up the second one. I have a blog post that I wanna share because I like the title of it. I'm gonna call this blog share and we're gonna call it what the article is called. Are you getting in your own way? Now, I don't necessarily want them to go out each day like where they're getting an email from me every day. That can sometimes be overkill. So I'm gonna say I sent them an email, they got an email from me on Tuesday or whatever the first day was. Um, now I want this to go out, I'm gonna say day four. So Tuesday, that would be Tuesday's day one, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That means Friday they'll get an email from me um, based on the day that I assign it. So they're gonna get this three, four days after the day I assign them this campaign. So we're gonna call this a day four email and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna say it's a 7 a.m. email and I'm going to put this at, which are we using? This is the blog post template. So again, everything that I need is in that template. If I wanted to put a message before it, I could. Um, it's going to look a little, um, it, would look, it would come above the template. So I choose, I really like to leave all of the body in the templates and let the templates kind of be the email. Otherwise, you could not use a template and just type a body of an email in here. If you just wanted to send them a regular text email, you absolutely could. Um, and this is where you would do that. So we've got this set up. We've got blog share as the title, so I know what it is. The subject they'll see in their email is, are you getting in your own way? This will go out on the fourth day after the campaign is assigned at 7 a.m. And this is the template that's going to be used, and this is active. And we're gonna click Save. And now that's gonna go again under our welcome campaign. So now we have two emails in our three email campaign. Now let's add that last one, that last template that we just built. Um, we're gonna click here. And now this is gonna be the follow-up email. And we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna say checking in. And now what day do we want this to come on? I, I think that after someone has bought product from you or signed up, um, it's good to check in somewhere between seven to 10 days after they've been on here. So I'm gonna say day eight. We're gonna make this a day eight email. So that's after I've assigned them the, to the campaign, then eight days later, they will get this email from me. That's how these campaigns work. 
So if I had assigned it to day five, they would get it the day after they got the blog post that I just assigned, but I don't want them to get it to that quickly. If they're getting, if you have some days in between, they're not going to feel overwhelmed, at least that's the theory. And uh, maybe they're more likely to read what you've sent them. So day eight, and now we are going to, this is the, how's it going template. And that's the one that we just created. So we know what's in there, right? That's just, hey, just checking in, seeing how everything is going. It has the picture of our little girl superhero on it. And it's that question in the email, like right in the image that says, how are we doing? That's, that's really what we, we want to be messaging with. So by clicking save. So that's our three email campaign. You could make this a 15 email campaign if you wanted this to go out over six months where they only got an email from you every month, but you had all of the material that you wanted to share already. Um, then you could absolutely um, set this up with six different posts that are scheduled to go out 30 days apart. So you would set the first one as day one. The second one would be like day 31. And the third one would be like day 62, you know, and you'd set it up to go out like that. Um, but this is a basic, very simple email campaign. Now, the way that you assign them, so now that we have the campaign, now what do we do with them? So let's go to our contact list and find a contact that we want to assign this campaign to. We're going to go to ARIA. So there's actually two ways that you could do this. If you wanted to assign it to multiple people, so you say you had two people who bought product from you on the same day, and they're getting the same standardized emails in this campaign. So you would check these off. So these two people, ARIA and Carrie, got bought product from me or signed up. I'm going to assign them the welcome campaign. And I click here, and now they're assigned successfully. Now, if we open Aria's contact card, in just a second, and we skip on over to campaigns over here, you'll see that these three emails are scheduled to go out. So this one tomorrow, so that's day one. Then four days later, she's scheduled to get this second email. And then four days after that, she's scheduled to get this email. So that's how this works. Now, if I said that I already sent her the welcome email and I don't want her to get that one, I, check, I click off this box and I can delete it. Now she's only gonna get the last two emails that I assigned in that campaign. I didn't delete the whole campaign, I just deleted that one. So it just gives you some flexibility that if you're like, oh wait, I don't want her to get that email, don't send it, just, just click it off, delete it, and she won't get it. Um, but if, if we didn't assign this to her using the bulk, the other way that we could do it, we'll choose somebody else, we'll choose Christy Turlington over here. We would go over to campaigns. So Christy bought some product from us, signed up for, um, for a service from us, so signed up for Hilo in my case. I would go to campaigns, I would choose welcome because I want her to get this welcome campaign. I click assign, and now three campaign messages were assigned successfully. Now here we go, it's the same thing. She's gonna get this one first. Uh, tomorrow she'll get this email. Three days later, she's gonna get this email. Four days later, she's gonna get this email. So I hope that this uh, makes sense, and I hope that you see that how you can start using campaigns. Definitely as you get your feet wet and you start creating more content and you have more emails going out and you're standardizing them, it'll be a lot clearer how, uh, how you use this. Um, and another thing, just when you're assigning the campaign, so I've got a seven day, I've got basically seven or eight days before she's getting my last email. So you know what, I'm gonna say I wanna follow up with her in two weeks. So this is how you kind of use the system fluidly. Um, so that's it. So that is how this is kind of an introduction to how you start automating your marketing within Hilo. Um, these can be really useful and time saving tips. So I hope that you get some use out of them. Uh, just a quick shout out again, go to our YouTube page, Hilo IPA, search for that in YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel because you'll get access to these videos and lots of other ones like it and you'll be notified when we add them. We're adding them all the time. 
Um, check out our blog at blog.heloipa.com. That has our schedule for Helo Live as, as well as a lot of other information, I'm trying to send you guys less emails. So giving you more places where you could just check in and see what's happening. Um, and next week's Helo Live is supporting your team with Helo. Um, that's going to be all of our team functions, uh, and that will be Thursday, March 7th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, so 6 p.m. Pacific. And that's our show for today. Uh, thank you guys very much, and we'll see you next time.